Still dreaming your dream job? Join Gang Board now and make it real. This conference will now be recorded. Hey everyone, let's talk about the service models in Azure or Cloud. So what are service models exactly? So service models are basically the way by which the cloud is offering their services to the end users. So basically before the cloud, if you remember, so there are the on-premise environments in which the entire infrastructure from the networking till the applications getting deployed were handled by the organizations themselves. But with the coming up of cloud, you get the infrastructure as a service, you get the platform as a service, and you get the software as a service. So these are the three service models or the three basic service models by which the infrastructure or the platform or the software or the cloud provides the users with their service. So say for example, let's start with infrastructure as a service. So infrastructure as a service, for example, Azure Virtual Machines gives you a server in the cloud. Okay, so you'll have complete control over it. And basically here, if you see, so the networking, the physical network, the storage, the servers, the physical storage and the physical servers, the till the virtualization of the servers, right? So till that is being managed by the cloud vendor. You or your organization is going to choose what OS you're going to deploy. And from the OS, you will have full control. You'll be deciding what middleware to go for, what runtime to go for, what kind of database or data structure you're going to have on it, and what kind of applications you're going to deploy. So when you have infrastructure as a service given to you by the cloud, you're basically taking care of a machine. You're get, taking care of a virtual machine or a cloud uh, server or an environment in the cloud you're taking care of. Right, in that environment, you are in full control. You can deploy whatever applications you want on it. You, if you want to install multiple applications, you can do that. But the only caveat here is you need to be in charge of the server. It's up to you to update, manage, patching, everything of that sort will fall in your bucket and you need to take care of that. So this is basically your Azure Virtual Machines or infrastructure provided to you as a service. You will be going for IaaS when you need complete control. You'll be going for IaaS when you want to install multiple applications. You will be going for IaaS when you want to extend your physical data center into the cloud. Okay. So the second service which is provided is the platform as a service or the Azure cloud services or web app services. Say for example, I just want to host my website and I don't need a virtual machine. I don't want to manage a virtual machine. Just give me a hosting space, just like you know, GoDaddy does. So when you go to GoDaddy and register for a domain, it registers your domain, gives you a URL, whatever you choose. And it also gives you some space like 50 GB, 50 MB, whatever, to host your files. So similar kind of thing is also possible in Azure. So here, Azure will give you a space, a path in which you can upload your code, you can upload your files, and it will give you the you know, link or the URL to the website in which your code will be running in the background and you'll be able to see the web application, right? So what happens in the background? So in the background, again, there is a virtual machine, there is a web server running, but Azure is responsible and Microsoft is responsible. Microsoft manages and maintains that server. You don't have to own the server. You don't have to worry about upgrading, patching, uh, server going down, any of the issues of the server you don't have to you know, hit your head about. You just have to worry about your code and about your application running in the cloud, okay? So in case of platform as a service, there are two components, your application files, which will be deployed to the cloud, your source code, your UDLs, et cetera, and a configuration file in which you will be having configuration for your application. So these two combination will spin up your web roles and worker roles. So your web role is nothing but a web server or Azure VM that is pre-configured as a web server, maybe running IIS, and it will automatically have your application loaded on it by the time the server fully spins up. So you don't have to you know, spin up the server or anything. You just need to start your web application and internally it will spin up the server for you. Okay, so this will create a public endpoint, basically a URL for your application. And it could also be an API or something similar to that. Okay, so with the cloud services, Azure handles all of the operating system details, your upgrading, patching, and everything. And you just need to worry about your application. 
the other concept of worker roles comes here so worker roles are basically some services which run alongside your web roles and these are responsible for performing the computing functions to support your application so basically getting your telemetry data basically uh, you know taking the request from the user and giving it to the server whatever things happens in the background is done by the worker role okay so this is basically the uh, structure of the platform as a service in cloud the final one that is the software as a service so any of the applications you take into account now let it be google let it be whatsapp let it be facebook everything is a software as a service you are using the software as a service you're not installing it you're basically installing the client in your mobile mobile devices when you upload a file into instagram or you upload a file into facebook it doesn't stay in your uh, device it goes and gets uploaded to the cloud and it is available in the cloud so basically you are provided a software as a service so as a part of the uh, software say for example if i'm from facebook i'm responsible for managing facebook i don't have to worry about what virtual machine is it running is it a linux machine is it a windows machine what kind of uh, you know, uh, services they are hosted if my servers are running is my database is running i don't have to worry about that i just need to worry about my software so the entire structure here from networking till the application everything is managed by the vendor and i just need to worry about my application so let it be office 65 let it be base camp let it be salesforce okay websites and azure so all these things are basically software as a services so most applications today are built on cloud platform due to low cost of entry and the prices continually falling and the ability to scale up as your customer base grows so if it is drop cams mug mug netflix got a million customers tomorrow also their infrastructure would be able to accommodate them okay so that's basically your software as a service apart from these uh, three major service models you also have database as a service you have got chatbot as a service you have got cognitive services you have got search services and a lot of other services are there but these are the three fundamental and major service models in cloud which provide you the services of the cloud in three ways your infrastructure your platform and as a software thank you